Hello everyone, I am Dave the Prayer Guy. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. As those of you who have seen this before know that my vision is to fuel God's mission with prayer. And my ministry is to encourage people to do that, to kind of pray more missionally, to pray for God's kingdom to advance for the making of disciples and the growing of disciples. So I hope that this video in my previous ones, all of them have been an encouragement to each one that has watched them. And so let's get going on today's topic. So today's topic is the idea of praying back the word of God. And so simply what that means is you're reading God's word, you're reading a passage from the Bible, and you're praying about what you're reading. You're praying the word back to God. And I like to do this. I like to open up a passage of description and as a scripture, and as I read it, I'm praying it back to God. And I especially like doing it um, when I'm praying for my church, you know, praying God's promises from the word. Um, to his church, to my local congregation called United Baptist Church. And so there was one time I was reading and praying through First Peter. And, and during this specific experience, Jesus stopped me when I got to First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. So First Peter 2, 9. And I'm just going to go ahead and read that to you. And it says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who calls you out of darkness into a wonderful light. Once, all right, I'm going to do verse 10 as well. Once you were not a people, but you are now the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. And, this, and so I prayed what this verse is about um, to God for my church, that we would definitely would be a royal priesthood, a holy nation. That would be people that received um, his mercy because we had we once didn't have his mercy and we were once not a people that we would truly be the people of God. And I, and I just really focus my prayer for my church, my congregation on those two verses. Before I had, you know, before I did share that the Bible is one story from Genesis to Revelation and how it's about the story of God saving the world. And missionally speaking, praying the word back to God in a lot of ways is a missional prayer. You're praying for God to continue to work like he did from, from Genesis, from right after the fall. And he's going to continue to work until G Jesus comes back and says everything's straight. And so it, it is, by its nature, a missional prayer because that's the whole point of, point of the Bible is really to talk about how bad sin is and what the solution is. And it is his plan. You know, the Old Testament is, is about why the world is in such bad shape. The problem is, is humans and that God has a solution, and that the New Testament is all about how Jesus is that solution, how we are to live in light of that. And so the principles shared in these stories are things that he wants to do, are things that he's planning on doing, that he, that he is doing. And these are the prayers that God desires. He desires us to kind of pray more missionally, and that he wants to answer. These are prayers that he's dying to hear from us, and prayers that he's just waiting to answer. So I have a challenge for all of you, and that is to pick a passage, and as you are reading it, pray it back to God. And then sit back, maybe not sit back, maybe pray again, you know, maybe we want to be like the persistent widow that just kept going to the judge, you know, found in Luke 8, that we just want to continue to pray, but also be on the lookout for how God is answering our prayers. All right, so thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was a blessing to you. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, and um, may the Lord be with you, and God bless.